In this video, I will make a circular saw guide jig. First of all, I need to measure the width C of the circular saw base. I cut a 1.5 cm long strip from the marquetry sheet and I glue it at a distance L longer than C from the edge of the guide base. I rest my saw on the base and against the marquetry strip and I cut. I check that the cut is perfectly straight. That edge that I have just cut will tell me always where my saw cuts when I use the guide. I cut a 2 cm wide strip of plywood. That must be at least 1 cm thick. I see which is the straightest edge and I call it R2. With the help of a square I screw the plywood strip in the back side of my guide, making sure that R1 and R2 are at a perfect 90 degrees angle. And yes, I wear my Sunday clothes. If I put the plywood strip so that R1 and R2 are at a 45 degree angle, I can use the guide to make meter cuts. It is better to make a mark to know where to put the screw. To make meter cuts, I can put the plywood strip in two different positions. One position is enough, but I will get the guide ready to use in both positions, because I don't know which will be the handiest position each time I will use it. To put the plywood strip, I always rest one side of the square against R1, and the other against R2. I have four holes in the plywood strip. I need to number that holes and I number the holes in the base too. So I can always put the strip in the right position without making mistakes. With that numbers, if I put a screw in one and another screw in two, I have the guide ready to make 90 degrees cuts. If I put a screw in two and another in four, I have the guide ready to make 45 degrees cuts to one side. And if I put a screw in one and another in three, then I have the guide ready to make 45 degrees cuts to the other side. I must be careful when I put the strip in this position. My strip is very near the corner. The problem is that the saw will begin to cut before it is well rest against the guide. It would be better to put first the strip in this position. I put the strip so that it is not that near the corner. I move it towards R1. Then the position for the 90 degrees cuts. And then the other position for meter cuts. To use the guide I clamp the board I want to cut to the workbench. And I clamp the guide in the position I need to cut. R1 shows exactly where the saw will cut. That way I will cut the wood below the guide, right to the left line. The blade of the saw will remove a slide of wood equal to that between the lines plus the lines.
and now I make sure that the cut is at a 90 degrees angle with all the faces of the wooden bar. This circular saw jig works great to cross cut, but the truth is that I never use it to meter cut, because it is very difficult to make precise meter cuts with this jig. Thanks for watching. You can find all my woodworking videos in my YouTube channel. And if you like my videos, remember that you can subscribe to my channel.